I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Steam Deck storage. So I purposefully bought the 64 gigabyte Steam Deck to upgrade the storage myself since it's the cheapest option, but also because I wanted at least one terabyte of storage on my Steam Deck. So I pre-ordered the Sabrent Rocket 2230 one terabyte drive, but it kept getting delayed, at least for me here in the UK. It was delay after delay, but it's finally here. So let's upgrade our Steam Decks. But first, make sure you go down there, like this video and subscribe. And here's a quick word about our podcast. Is this video boring you? If so, then why not come over to this other channel and watch the 128KB podcast? It's less boring. <sighs> Do it. <laughs> so first of all, this is a pretty easy upgrade. So don't worry if you've never done anything like this before. I know you're probably really nervous, but don't worry, it's really not that bad. So I'd advise you to watch this video in full first to get your bearings and then come back and watch this step by step and follow along. So here's the things that you'll need. You'll need your Steam Deck case because we're gonna use this as like a workbench since it has molded cutouts for the joysticks and this will stop any unnecessary pressure being put on them whilst we're working. You'll need a compatible 2230 SSD. So like I said, I'm using the Sabrent Rocket one terabyte You'll also need a high quality Phillips head screwdriver because you don't want to round off any of the screw heads. You're going to need a plastic spudger for prying the case off. And finally, either an eight gigabyte USB flash drive with a USB-C adapter, or as I'm going to use a spare micro SD card, which we're going to use to re-image Steam OS onto the new drive. So I'm using a micro SD card because, well, it's easier. You just slot it into the micro SD card slot on the Steam Deck. If you're using a flash drive, you're gonna need to make sure that it's got a USB-C end. So it might be a USB-A flash drive. You're gonna need an adapter to make that USB-C to then plug it into the top in your USB-C port. So I do recommend using a micro SD card because it's just easier. Step one, before we begin, absolutely make sure you do this. Manually back up any game saves that do not back up to the cloud or just double check that they are there on the cloud because I stupidly upgraded assuming everything was stored on the cloud and I actually lost my Psychonauts save data. Now this game is actually really old and despite Steam saying it supports cloud saves so this was the only game affected and of course this only really applies if you've already been using your Steam Deck already. If you've just bought a brand new Steam Deck and you're going to do this process now well then it's not going to affect you. Step two let's create the recovery image so we can reinstall Steam OS once we've installed the new SSD. So Google Steam Deck recovery instructions and it will be the first link. Click the link to download the recovery image. Now underneath we need to download Rufus on PC to write the image onto a flash drive or our micro SD card. Click the link and download Rufus. Then open Rufus and in the device drop down, make sure you have your flash drive or micro SD card selected as this will be where we write Steam OS onto. Press select and select the recovery image that we've just downloaded and then press start at the bottom. It will give you a warning that it will format your drive and that's okay providing that you have the right one selected. This takes a little while, so just be patient. Now we can actually start the upgrade process. So step three, let's begin. Make sure your Steam Deck battery is below 25%. Shut down your Steam Deck and remove your micro SD card if you have one installed. Otherwise you will snap it in half, be warned. So there's eight screws to remove. We've got four shorter ones in the center and then four longer ones in the corners. Make sure to keep these safe. Now I myself like putting them to the side in the same placement that they came out so that I know they will fit perfectly when they're reinstalled later. Now the next bit is the most difficult bit of the entire installation, removing the rear shell. So get your spudger and gently try to pry the back off, starting near the triggers because the gap is bigger here. Now don't force it or you will break the clips inside. This takes a little while so be patient and work your way around the whole shell until it's fully unclipped. Now we've got three more screws to remove but the first one is actually hidden underneath this foil shield. Carefully peel it back so it reveals the screw underneath but don't remove it as we will need to reapply this later on. 
The next two screws are in the top left and the bottom left. Now carefully remove the metal plate. This then reveals the currently installed drive in the bottom left. Now we need to remove the battery connection though. So carefully either use your nail or your plastic spudger to slide the connection out. I highly advise not using metal because you could accidentally puncture the battery if you slipped and that's, that's a big no-no, don't do that. There is a pull cord, but it's not ideal to remove the connection, just use your nail or whatever. Once the battery is disconnected, press and hold your power button for around 20 seconds or so that it fully discharges any power left in it. And then we can safely swap the SSD over. Now remove the screw holding your drive in and gently remove the drive. Now you will need to reuse this sort of shield that is over it. So slide your drive out and get your new drive ready. So here's a quick comparison of the Sabrent Rocket and the 64 GB EMMC drive that mine had. Get your new drive and slide the shield over it that came off of the old one. Then gently slot the drive in and replace the screw. And that's it, you've upgraded it but we need to put it back together. So carefully reinsert the battery connector and make sure it is fully seated. Place the metal plate back into place. Now don't rush this step because there are little grooves that need to sit in properly and be careful of the fan cables being caught as well. So just be careful with this bit. You wanna make sure that it is seated correctly. Replace that foil shield over the screw and then screw the remaining two screws in. Align the rear shell and squeeze it back into place and then screw all eight screws back in. Now we're on to step four, which is let's re-image the Steam OS onto our new drive. Get your flash drive with a USB-C connector and plug it into the USB-C port on the top. Or if you're like me using a micro SD card, then just insert it into the micro SD card slot. Then press and hold the power button and the volume down button until you hear the startup sound and then release the power button but keep holding the volume down button and this will basically force it to boot off of either that micro SD or your flash drive. Now this might take a few minutes so just wait. It took about five minutes or more for me but I am using a really old slow micro SD card to re-image so that's probably a bit of a bad move on my part but it still worked fine. Also don't worry if your trackpad or any of the buttons or anything don't register either. Mine didn't work like nothing worked other than the touch screen so instead press the touch screen and select re-image Steam Deck then press proceed and then wait. It definitely took a good while for me. Once it prompts you, press proceed when it says re-imaging is complete. Once it restarts, it will boot up into Steam OS with the welcome screen and all that good stuff, but there was a bit more to it, for me at least. Once I'd like selected my language and all that good stuff, it said download an update, and this took ages. So it had to download an update, then unpack it, and then install it, and I, I mean, it must have been 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Maybe it was less, but it definitely felt like that. Just leave it. Just leave it, don't worry, just, just leave it. It's all good, it's just doing its thing. Then finally, once that happened, it rebooted again back onto the welcome screen and then everything was all fine. And there we go, it's done, congratulations. Well done, well done. So if this is your first time ever doing anything like this, tinkering with storage upgrades or anything like that, well then well done. I know it can be scary at first. If you're a veteran like me, well then way, we've got better Steam Decks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy about this. I got so much quicker download speeds when downloading games off of Steam. Like the installation was so much quicker because the drive is much faster. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. Games boot up quicker. Even loading up Steam, when I first booted it up with the EMM, see the 64 gigabyte drive installed it used to like freeze it like when it was loading steam whereas now it just smoothly loads steam and i i'm really happy about that so yeah anyway enjoy all of your new games and whilst you're here make sure you go down there like this video and subscribe if you've enjoyed it let me know if you need any help whatever just drop some comments down and i will try my best to help you out and whilst you're here go and check out one of these videos over here because why not check out our podcast where me and aj talk about everything gaming basically and check out another video here of me talking about things <laughs> bye